so I'm in Austin, Texas, and I'm here for three days. Today is actually my birthday, so this is a bit of a birthday trip, but the plan is to see and do as much as possible in Austin, and also try as much food as possible. So this is gonna be like a vlog, but also a what to do and what to eat kind of video. So I really hope you enjoy it, and let's go. So this is our car, we got it from Alamo. It's a Nissan Rogue, and it's actually quite big like I'll show you the inside also the guy at Alamo at the car rental center was like the nicest person I've ever spoken to at a car rental center he didn't like try and force us to buy anything extra um, yeah so so far I love Texas <laughs> So we've just come out to Valentina's Tex-Mex barbecue because it was highly recommended. We got two breakfast tacos, we got a real deal holy field, I think it's called, with brisket and a beans and cheese with pulled pork. It's basically like a food truck right by the roadside, like not a restaurant or anything. And there's a barn bit out the back and then there's the front porch where you basically sit right near the road. It's very cool, like the vibe's really cool. And funnily enough, the queue outside right now is crazy compared to when we walked in. Um, the meat was like super soft and it was cooked really well and everything was super flavoursome and they're like the taco tortilla was so soft so I definitely bleh, I definitely recommend so we've just driven over Pennyback Bridge and then we parked and walked up to the Pennyback Bridge Overlook which is basically just a viewing area where you can have a really cool view of Austin and obviously the bridge and the water and there was actually golf going on whilst we were there as well. Um, it was super windy though when we were up there. I literally had to hold onto my hat the entire time and it's a good job I wore shorts under my skirt. But anyway, <laughs> um, now we've just driven to Zilco Botanical Gardens and we're gonna go have a look around. Just been to Voodoo Donuts on 6th and they were pretty good. They weren't my favorite donuts I've ever had, but they weren't bad. The banana cream one was my favorite. That one was really nice. Um, there is also a salty donut on South Congress. Not that I'm gonna get them today, but I've had them in Miami and they're amazing. We've just arrived back at the hotel so that is day one complete we watched the bats fly out from under congress bridge and that was really cool so i definitely recommend seeing those if you can they fly at dusk pretty much every night but i think it's seasonal so i'll double check that we walked up South Congress Avenue, had a look in some of the shops. So we went in Alan's boots, tried on some cowboy boots and a cowboy hat and everything. So that was really fun. Um, then we went to Cider Cade, which is basically like a big arcade and you pay 10 pounds, sorry, $10 <laughs> to get in. And then you can basically play whatever games you like for free. So that was a lot of fun. Then we went to Home Slice for some pizza. We sat inside. We got garlic knots with marinara sauce and margarita pizza. It was really delicious, like the dough was really good and everything. The marinara sauce was really good too. The only thing I would say is I was expecting a tomato pizza base and it didn't have it. So it was still nice, but that's what I was expecting. Um, but I'd still recommend. And anyway, I'm really tired now, so I'm going to go to bed and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning guys, day two, it's actually currently raining at the moment, but it's supposed to brighten up and be about 30 degrees today. So maybe I should make the most of the rain now before it gets very hot. 30 degrees is hot in England, just, just throwing that out there. <laughs> um, we're gonna head to Bird Bird Biscuit this morning for some breakfast, and then we'll see what happens after that. Queen Beak, it's fried chicken, buttermilk biscuit with honey, I think like a pepper spice honey, and chipotle mayo. It looks amazing. It's huge. <laughs> That's really good. There's definitely like some spice coming through, but the biscuit, oh my gosh, it's so good. This one is the Bada Bing. So it's a chicken sausage with mozzarella. We added an egg, although I can't see the egg. <laughs> <laughs> um, pickled onion and this looks almost like a tomato salsa. This one is very neat and big again. <laughs> mm. 
Oh, that's delicious. It tastes like pizza. I don't know where the egg is. Jesus Christ. <gasps> okay, don't panic. Someone just clipped our wing mirror, but it's fine. There's no mark. Bird Bird Biscuit was amazing and the sun has come out and it's now boiling. <laughs> So we're just on South Congress Avenue, we've just hired some scooters and we're going to scoot on down to the Capitol building. So we made it to the Capitol building, we dropped off our scooters because you're not actually allowed to take them inside. They actually go completely dead, which I think is actually really clever. Um, but we just like parked them and we're going to go walk around. hotel now we had such a jam-packed afternoon I'm actually so tired right now it's about 11 p.m. Um, so I'm gonna hop in the shower I'm gonna try and get a good night's sleep because tomorrow we're gonna drive out to Fredericksburg so I'll see you guys tomorrow for day three Good morning guys, it is day three and we are driving to Fredericksburg today. We might stop at Gordo's, we're gonna drive past to see how busy it is. Basically they do these like huge donuts and I've seen pictures and one has fried chicken on it. They look amazing, so we're gonna see if it's too busy. If it is too busy then we'll just stop on the way back. <music> So we're about 20 minutes away from Fredericksburg. We're in a place called Stonewall and we've just pulled over at the Sour Beckman farm, which is a living history farm. Now I don't 100% know what to expect, but I looked online and it looked really cool and I'm hoping to see a Texas Longhorn and some bison. So let's go check it out. <laughs> So we're just driving back to Austin from Fredericksburg. We spent about four hours in Fredericksburg. We basically just walked around like the main street. We had some lunch at Nuri's, I think it's called. I had like a shrimp salad with mango and pecans. I think it's called the chef salad. It was okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. It wasn't the most amazing salad I've had. It basically needed chopping up and mixing together. Bernie had a po' boy and the French fries. Oh my gosh, they were so good. I got some popcorn. This is actually from a gas station just outside of Fredericksburg. They sold it in one of the sweet shops that was in Fredericksburg, like on the main street. But it was $5 cheaper at the gas station, so I decided to get it. I got the salted caramel one and I've eaten half of it already. It's so delicious. But yeah, it's a really cool place and I definitely recommend checking it out. So we've just pulled over at Mount Bernal as we're going to go upstairs again to see the Austin skyline in the daylight.
came to Terry Black's barbecue and it was amazing. We got the pork ribs, the brisket, and then the mac and cheese, the potato salad, cornbread, and some pickles, and everything was so good. Surprisingly, the pork ribs were my favorite, and also like the cornbread was amazing with the whipped butter. Um, what else was it? Oh, and the potato salad as well. Like they were my three favorite things that we ordered. Um, also the queue wasn't that long either. We got there around quarter to nine, I think. And um, I would say we queued for like 10, 15 minutes. So, and it's Saturday night. So I'm pretty pleased with that. But yeah, highly, highly recommend. Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed and then it's our last day in Austin tomorrow. <laughs> So we're leaving Austin today. We've checked out of our hotel. We've just been for breakfast at a place called Magnolia Cafe, which is on South Congress. And we waited an hour and a half to get in. Was it worth it? I didn't enjoy my breakfast that much. Bernie's breakfast was good, but I probably wouldn't have waited an hour and a half for it. It was cheap though. It was like $25 for both of us. Um, so now we're gonna go to McKinney Falls and we're gonna see if we can see if there's water there. So there isn't always water there, so fingers crossed. <laughs> Currently very hot and very sweaty, but I'm still under the rock shelter, which provided shelter to Native Americans for over 8,000 years, and it's currently keeping me cool. <laughs> Just. just left McKinney Falls and it was absolutely beautiful so if you get the chance I definitely recommend going. Now we're heading on down to San Antonio and we're gonna stop at Bucky's which I've read is the largest gas station in the world. I've literally never been so excited to go into a gas station before. <laughs> I've just been into Bucky's and that place is so cool. It literally has everything you could ever need, including beaver nuggets. I got myself my own pack of beaver nuggets. I really like them. As you can tell, I've literally just left the store and I've already had like three handfuls of them. So I got this flavor and I got the cinnamon flavor. I actually prefer the original though. I also got a big red drink, never tried it before. I can't even tell you what flavor it tastes like. All I can say is that in the UK, we have iron brew and it tastes like a less strong version of that. But if you haven't tried iron brew, that doesn't help. <laughs> I'm in San Antonio now, so I'm gonna end the Austin vlog there. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Austin is definitely a place that I would go back to. The people are so friendly. Honestly, I wish I could have spent longer there. Some people actually said to me that you only need a couple of days in Austin, but I could have easily spent a week there doing more stuff. So let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions for me or for other people that might want to go to Austin because I'll definitely be going back. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to watch my San Antonio vlog as well. Thanks guys, bye.